look like a pataka kudi from Delhi. <laughs> Either horror or sex films, and I was just like, what is happening? You know, the fact that I was totally mentally tortured by the end of that film. <laughs> Hi, this is Kainaz Motiwala, and you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama. I'm sure it has its advantages, but I just think uh, if I wanted to do the same thing every day, I could have done any job. The fact that um, I get to do something different and be someone different is what excites me about my job and about being an actor. And if I keep doing the same thing, I'll just end up, you know, getting bored and feeling like, what am I doing? You know. I definitely wanted to get out of that and I didn't want that whole bold thing that got stuck with me after Ragini. I just wanted to get rid of that because um, I don't see myself as a sex symbol. I mean, Bipasha Basu is a sex symbol. She's hot and everything and she's probably great like that. I don't see myself like that. And I think the best part about being an actor is that you get to do something different every day. So if you're going to do the same kind of stuff over and over again, that's just boring. Yeah, Which is the thing weird. that actually interested me the most because uh, post Ragini, I was getting a lot of scripts which are pretty much in the same genre and I didn't want to get typecast. So I wanted to do something that was totally different in character as a film, as a genre, every, in every possible way. And this was that script. And uh, the fact that again, it's a, a character-driven, concept-driven script, which kind of does revolve around my character. And uh, we've never seen a female chauffeur before on screen. So uh, for me, that was very interesting. That I look like a pataka kudi from Delhi. <laughs> yeah, but see, she's not always been a driver. And uh, she's like this Delhi girl who's very intelligent and qualified and stuff. But she doesn't know what she wants to do right now with her life. Like she goes, switches jobs every two weeks maybe. And uh, she can't find excitement and she believes you shouldn't do a job unless it excites you and makes you happy. So on a bet, she takes up this job and um, then what happens to her character and what happens to her life after she meets this guy that she has to drive around is what the story is. That's definitely changed and um, it's nice that people appreciate my work in the film and have, you know, said good things and positive feedback. So it's definitely changed for the better. See, like I said, after Ragini, it was all just same Ragini type films, either horror or sex films. And I was just like, what is happening, you know? Because um, I thought the sex content in Ragni was not that much ki that's all you're thinking about. It's way more glamorous than uh, Ragni was. That was like totally de -glam. I had blood on me and all. <laughs> <laughs> so this is way more glam than that. At least I don't have anything on me. But um, I had to prepare in the sense that she's a Delhi girl and I've never like lived in Delhi or I've been to Delhi for max a week. So I had to kind of uh, understand what girls there are like. When I react to a script while I'm reading it, I know that it's a good script. Like that happened with me in Ragini and that happened in Chalo Driver. Like I was laughing a lot while reading the script and that to me is very important. Um, as for Vikrant being uh, the director and the actor, I think it's totally fine as long as you know what you're doing and um, you can handle it well. It's all good. I mean, we, we just have all these stereotypes like you can't do this and you can't do that. I think it's time to just break all that. No, it's not a rom-com. It's a family youth comedy and it's quirky. The thing that sets it apart is the fact that, of course, my character of a female chauffeur, it's never been done before. And um, just, you know, the way people react to a girl doing something unusual, especially in a city like Delhi. So I think um, that will be interesting and there's uh, Manoj Pawa's character, he's playing Papu uncle who's this really loud like Punjabi uncle who's really funny. So I think, um, I think that will be really fun. Uh, right now there's nothing because again I'm just waiting and taking my time. I want people to see this film so they know that I can do more than just horror and you know thriller and stuff. So I just want to do like totally different characters with every film. So I will wait and take my own sweet time 
but I will do good work. I haven't seen it's really bad. Kahani was a brilliant film. I loved Kahani. Before that, uh, I think Zindagi Naam, but that's been a while. Zindagi Naam milegi dobara. I thought that was great. I think Cocktail is going to be very interesting. I think the promos of that film are looking very interesting. The fact that I was totally mentally tortured by the end of that film. <laughs> so I was like, no, I need to laugh and just be like in a normal state of mind. Otherwise, I am going to need therapy. <laughs> so I said, no horror film for now. But I think I am over my fears, so I can do it again now.